Some industries seem to have their own language that isn't easily understood by outsiders. This language can find its way into contracts, affecting the clarity of those agreements. That's what the New York Supreme Court discovered when it had to decide whether a dress was really a dress in Weinberg v. Edelstein. Louis B. Weinberg and Mark Edelstein both operated women's clothing stores in the same building. Weinberg's lease permitted him to sell ladies' dresses, coats, suits, and sports clothes. Weinberg's lease contained a covenant in which the landlord agreed not to rent to any other store that would sell ladies' dresses, coats, and suits. Edelstein's lease was assigned to him a year later and entitled him to sell blouses and skirts, along with other items of women's clothing and accessories, but not ladies' dresses. Edelstein knew about Weinberg's restrictive covenant and accepted the assignment, following discussion and agreement among Weinberg, Edelstein, and Edelstein's predecessor. At that time, the relevant segment of the women's garment trade was divided between dress houses that manufactured dresses and sports warehouses that manufactured skirts and blouses. Dress houses made one-piece and two-piece dresses. Two-piece dresses consisted of a skirt and bodice in the same style, color, material, and ornamentation. They were designed to be worn together and were sold together at one price, in the same size. In contrast, sports warehouses made skirts and blouses that could be worn together or separately with other pieces. They were sold separately and at different prices. And consumers could buy skirts and blouses in different sizes. In some cases, sports warehouses made matching skirts and blouses, but these pieces were understood to be different from two-piece dresses. Skirts and blouses, even if matching, were typically sold in the sportswear section of major department stores, while two-piece dresses were sold in the dress division. When Weinberg and Edelstein entered into their leases, the industry had already begun the trend of selling matching skirts and blouses, which sometimes were difficult to distinguish from dresses. Edelstein displayed and sold matching skirts and blouses. Weinberg, claiming that in fact Edelstein was selling two-piece dresses, sued Edelstein in New York Supreme Court, requesting an injunction to restrain Edelstein from violating the restrictive covenant. The parties tried the case before the court without a jury.